Hello everyone. Let's provide the solution to this problem. We have 4 to the power of x times 4 to the power of x times 4 to the power of x equals 48. And um, what do we do? Remember, we are multiplying this, right? And when you multiply and the bases, the bases are the same, you will pick one of them and add the powers. You can only do this when you are multiplying, right? So that from here now, we have 4 to the power of 3x to be equal to 48. Now, the next thing we'll do is to take the log of both sides, knowing that 48 cannot be written in this form. So we have log 4 to the power of 3x equals log 48. Now, there's a law that says the powers can always go behind. And if this power do, then we have 3x. Okay, if the power comes behind, we have um, 3x log 4 equals um, log 48. Now, what do we do? We are trying to get the value of x. So we can first of all divide this by log 4, then we divide the whole of this by log 4. Now we're not going to stop here, because we can say, okay, this will go with this. Now 3x is equal to log 48 divided by log 4. But then, mind you, this is the same thing as 3x equals log 4 times 12 because 4 times 12 is 48 and this is over log 4 now what do i do from here this is 3x being equal to log 4 plus log 12 okay according to one of the laws of um, logarithm if you're multiplying 4 times 12 then it can be broken into log 4 and log 12 just like this log 4 plus log 12 then we divide by log 4 now this cannot cancel this okay mind you this is the same as um 3x being equal to log 4 over log 4 plus log 12 over log 12 over log 4 rather now, this can now go there as we have 3x to be equal to 1 plus log 12 over log 4. Okay, so what do I do from here? Let, let us continue. Okay, by looking at this, you discover that we can equally break this. So we have 3x equals 1 plus log 4 times 3. 12 is 4 times 3 again, right? Then we divide by log 4. Now, 3x here will now be equal to 1 plus log 4 plus log 3. All of this is over 4, over log 4. Now, like we did before, 3x is equal to 1 plus log 4 over log 4 plus log 3 over log 3 over log 4. Because it's the same 4 that will appear there. Now, our 3x is equal to 1 plus 1, because this is going, then plus log 3 over log 4. What do I do? I have 3x to be equal to 2 plus log 3 over log 4. 
now here i have to apply change of base so i have 3x to be equal to 2 plus log um, 3 to base 4 okay to apl apply um, change of base since both of them are having the same base which is base 10 then to change the base you have 3 to base 4 but then we still have 3 here so we can divide both sides by 3 so we have from um, x to be equal to 2 plus log 3 to base 4 divided by 3 okay because i'm dividing both sides by 3 and then i can rewrite this as x being equal to 2 over 3 plus 1 over 3 log 3 to base 4. So from here we have the value of x. If you want to have this in decimal form, you can press your calculator, 2 divided by 3, and you enter log 3 to base 4, which will give you your value of x in decimal, right? Okay, so this is what we have as the value of x that will satisfy 4 to the power of x times 4 to the power of x times 4 to the power of x equals 48. Now, in my head, I'm thinking, can we put this here to confirm? I need you to sit back and learn because this is going to be more complex than the workings we have done down here. Now, our x is now the whole of this. So we have um, 4 to the power of 2 over 3 plus 1 over 3 log 3 to base 4. So we, we're going to have this in three places. So if I simplify this, then I'll multiply itself. I'll multiply it by itself in three places. 1, 2, 3. Like that, right? Good. So from here now, this is the same as 4 to the power of 2 over 3 multiplied by 4 to the power of 1 over 2. Okay, 1 over 3 log 3 to base 4. This is what it is according to one of the laws of indices. If you pick one of the bases, you add the power. So it will give you this back. Now, what do I do? I have 4 to the power of 2 over 3 multiply by 4 to the power of log 3. But remember that this 1 over 3 is the power of 3. So we write 3 to the power of 1 over 3. And this is to base 4. And what happens from here? Log to base 4 can cancel 4. So we are just having 4 to the power of 2 over 3 multiplied by 3 to the power of 1 over 3. So this is what we have. Now, there's something I want to do. I want to ensure that um, we have this, right? I want to ensure that they have the same power. So this will give us 4 to the power of 2. Then this is to the power of 1 over 3. Then multiply by 3 to the power of 1 over 3. Okay. These two here will come out, and then I have 1 over 3 as the power. This is what I have over there. So this is 16 to the power of 1 over 3 times 3 to the power of 1 over 3. Now we have the same powers. So we can multiply 16 by 3 to get 48. Then this will come out the power of 1 over 3. Right? Now what do I do? This means that I'm having this in three places because one of the four, this four to the power of x is what is giving me this, is what gave this. And it means that I should have this in three places. So I have four, 48 to the power of one over three, 48 to the power of one over three, multiplied by 48 to the power of one over three, multiply by 48 to the power of 1 over 3. So will this give us this 48? Let's try. Now, because we have the same basis, we pick 48. Then the powers, we're going to add them. 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3 
plus 1 over 3. At the end of the day, we have 48 to the power of 3 over 3. And 3 over 3, this is 48. 3 over 3 is 1. So 48 to the power of 1 is equal to 48. And that is what we had on the right hand side of the equation. So this is to confirm that this value of x is very correct. And uh, mind you, if you're able to get this to the end, then you're doing well in mathematics.